Hello, Sheldon Gould here with SNA Custom Lawn Care and Sonic Slade Music Productions in Gladstone, Manitoba. Just doing a quick update tonight. Uh, we had our Manitoba election today and uh, we got some breaking news. Um, the PC government got in with a majority vote. So congratulations to Brian Pallister on his win for the... <coughs> For the leader I guess Manitoba so I just want to say congratulations to him I also want to say congratulations to Elaine Clark from Gladstone Manitoba she won uh, the riding here where I'm from from the Agassi riding and I just want to uh, put out a congratulations to both of them on their their big win tonight um, I also want to say well done to all the other parties that were involved the NDP uh, the Liberal uh, the Green Party um, they did uh, a good job, everybody did what they had to do, but uh, in the end, uh, the Conservatives uh, did get elected, so uh, I just wanted to give a shout out and a quick update on the Manitoba election of uh, September 10th, 2019. So Brian Pallister is now our leader for Manitoba, and Elaine Clark from Gladstone, Manitoba is uh, again... Uh, in the riding of Agassiz so yeah just a quick uh, breaking news update I guess you could say and uh, that's about it I haven't put up a video lately I've uh, just been uh, well I haven't been really up to a whole lot we've got a fair amount of rain on and off about every other day I think in the last week we've got almost two inches of rain uh, this Thursday they're calling for I think I read 25 to 40 millimeters of rain again so I am mowing lawns in between rain once it dries up. Uh, the other thing we're fighting with is dew in the mornings. It's been getting down quite cool tonight or at night. I'm not sure what the temperature is tonight, but uh, two nights ago I think we were down to plus two degrees Celsius, but with wind chill we were sitting around minus one, I believe, is what I read. So uh, haven't really been that busy. I am starting to get stuff uh, somewhat organized for snow removal. They're talking a long cold winter with lots of snow here in uh, southwestern Manitoba, southern Manitoba. Um, I haven't done a whole lot. I just kind of made my list of what needs done. Um, I did bring the snowblower out of storage, the, the walk behind the Roper uh, 526. Um, I am having some engine problems with that. Uh, it fires up fine. It'll run for maybe 15 minutes. It warms up. <clears throat> and then uh, as soon as you go to move it, put a load on it. Uh, engage the wheels it uh, starts acting up popping and spluttering and then stalls so I'm not sure what's going on there I think it is a carb problem I want to take a look at the carb the only problem is uh, there's a cover over it and I'm not sure how to get it off there is screws to take it off and bolts but uh, there's a, a, a primer bulb is in the top of this cover and a choke handle comes through it as well and I'm not sure how to uh, how to uh, disconnect the, the linkage there so that I can get this cover off. I can't really see what I'm doing. So I think uh, it might have to go in to a shop. Uh, somebody that knows a little more than I do about small engines. Also, uh, the John Deere X530 is going to likely be going to Enns Brothers John Deere in Portage, Manitoba. Um, still haven't got a hood for it. We're going to need a hood if we're going to be doing snow removal. So uh, I want to take that in. <coughs> We're going to get a new hood for it, a new bumper, uh, get the lights replaced, uh, that's all part of the hood. Um, I want to get the more deck uh, re-leveled on it, new blades, do a more deck service. I also want to do a service on the tractor, it needs an oil change. I also want to take the John Deere uh, snowblower that fits on the front of the X530 in because I st uh, still haven't fixed it from uh, my little accident that I had almost a year ago where the chain came up, ripped the chute off and... Uh, and uh, the crank for the to angle the chute and the cable to angle the other part of the chute. So I think I'm just going to take that right into a dealership. Let them deal with that and uh, pay the bill, I guess. The bill's going to hurt. But uh, picked up a few more snow removal jobs already for this year. And I know I'm going to be needing that snowblower. Uh, there's a few yards that I can't get the skid steer in or the truck with the, the V plow on it. So I'm going to need that. Uh, I don't even think I could use a blade on the X530 because it's all grass. 
Yeah, the couple houses that are for sale, they want it snow blowed back so people can get in, but there's no sidewalk or anything really there to uh, <coughs> actually plow. So I'm going to be plowing across grass. So I don't want to rip grass up with the skid steer. I uh, can't get in there with the plow because they, they got some stuff parked in their driveway that I can't get by. So the only thing that I would be able to get in is the John Deere X530 with the 48 inch snowblower on it. So uh, hopefully get that in within probably the next couple of weeks. Um, the Boss uh, V plow for the truck. I need, I believe it's a passenger side high beam light bulb. I gotta replace that and then I think it's ready to go. I kinda checked it over already. Other than that, uh, everything else I think, I believe, is ready for snow removal. Um, I haven't really looked at anything else. Uh, I want to bring stuff around. I got a, like I said, I brought the snow blower from the other shop into this one. Started looking at that. I want to bring the blade around to the front of the shop. Give it a its annual service, I guess. Um, I got to bring the 48 inch John Deere snow blower around and uh, get it ready to load up uh, with the tractor itself and take it into Portage La Prairie and get that serviced. But uh, other than that, um, not too much. It's just been rain. The yard's kind of muddy. I uh, can't really do much outside until about 11 o'clock in the morning by the time the dew wears off. And then about 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon lately, it seems to be raining. So don't get much done. I am doing my uh, weekly mowings <clears throat> when I can, when it's not raining. Uh, I got three done yesterday. I was hoping to do uh, five, no, six. But uh, I ran into problems. I got three done. And then I went to do a couple others, and they're busy putting uh, sewer lines or water lines in the street, and I got the street all dug up. So two locations I couldn't even get to right at the moment because of construction. And then another one that I was supposed to do, it's a house for sale. Uh, they're not living there right now, but uh, apparently his uh, wife had come and checked on the house, and she had uh, mowed the lawn herself, so I don't have that one to do. Um, I also have a bunch of cut trees and stuff. Laying in a pile and a bunch of garbage I got to pick, pick up for Bell MTS at one of their locations. Uh, I was going to do that the other day, but I had a full trailer load of equipment and no room to put debris in the trailer. So next time I'm in uh, in town in Glasgow, Manitoba with an empty trailer, I'm going to pick that up. I also have another yard that uh, she wants. Uh, she's got a pile of junk behind her shed that she wants cleaned up and the trees trimmed back. So I'm going to do that too, but I need an empty trailer. So I'm hoping to do those two on the same day. Uh, there's also a guy in town in Glasgow, Manitoba that uh, has an old fridge for me for scrap. So uh, I'm hoping possibly the same day I'm in picking up all the other debris, I can pick up the fridge and haul it back here to my scrap pile. And we'll pile it there for now just until scrap prices go up. And uh, once I actually have a trailer load, we'll haul that out. But uh, other than that, not too much going on. Uh, just waiting on the rain, I guess. Um... But yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out, seeing it was the Manitoba uh, provincial, uh, uh, provincial election tonight, and give a big congrats to Brian Pallister, who won um, for PC, for Manitoba, our Conservatives, and uh, a shout out to Elaine Clark from Glasgow, Manitoba, where which is where I'm from. She uh, looks after the riding for uh, Agassiz. And uh, she won for this riding, so I just wanted to give a big uh, congrats out to them. And uh, that's about all I got to say for tonight. It's Sheldon Gould with SNN Custom Lawn Care and Sonic Slade Music Productions in Gladstone, Manitoba. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any comments, put them in the comments section below. Um, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit the subscribe button to our channel, uh, SNN Custom Lawn Care. You can also subscribe to, I got two group pages on Facebook, one for SNN Custom Lawn Care. The other for Sonic Slade Music Productions. I also have a page on Facebook for both companies, SNN Custom Lawn Care and Sonic Slade Music Productions. So make sure you subscribe to those. And uh, also, if you're trying to look me up myself, I'm Sheldon Gould uh, out of uh, Gladstone, Manitoba. So that's about all I got to uh, say tonight. Uh, congrats to everybody and well done to everybody that was involved in the Manitoba elections. Not just the PCs, uh, PC, NDP, uh, Liberals. Um, Green Party, and anybody else that I've missed, um, that's about all I have to say. It's uh, Sheldon Gould with SNN Custom Lawn Care in Glasgow, Manitoba.